Hey guys, what's going on? MassGFX here, and today I'm going to be covering another Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys on how to go about creating 3D text in all of about one minute. It's a very simple effect, so let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and create a new document here. I'm just going to be using 1920 by 1080. So what I did to start off is basically create a new layer and went over to my gradient tool and just add a simple gradient to the background. Uh, you can use any colors of your choice and this is pretty much just an effect to help it stand out more against the background. Alright, so what we're going to do is create another new layer here. Head over to our text tool. Now the text you choose has a big role in whatever uh, 3D effect you're going for. For example, you aren't going to want something that's going to be very small or very swirly or almost like a cursive writing. You want a very blocky, um, just bold font. So once you have that selected, I'm just going to go ahead and type in uh, anything you want. So I'm just going to type in Mass GFX and just center it up on the screen. All right, now what we're going to do from here is in order to give it kind of like the uh, the dark la uh, background in the back is basically just add a uh, layer mask to that and put a gradient over it. So I'm going to create a new layer, go in between uh, our layers here and basically just click the thumbnail to create a clipping mask. I'm going to head back to my gradient tool and you can select any type you want. For me, I'm going to be selecting radial. And pretty much since this is going to be the back layer, um, almost the shadow layer in a sense, I'm going to select a dark gradient. And if you don't have any gradients, you can also use just solid colors. Um, and I'm basically just going to go ahead and uh, put that over the text. And what we're going to do from here is basically just duplicate our text layer. So I'm going to hit Control J on that. And then select the bottom one. Next you want to do is go ahead and hit Control T on that new layer to transform it. And then while holding down our Shift key, we're just going to click and head over to our top right or left hand corner. And then drag out our pretty decent size. And then hit Enter. Alright, now since this is going to be our foreground layer, or the one that's in front, since it's not going to be the shadow, we're going to have it a little bit lightened up. Let's go ahead and drag that above our copy layer. And then we can stand this up. Now what you can see from here is basically if we put it to the left or the right, you can get different kinds of effects on basically uh, the positioning of each way you want the 3D to go. For example, we can put it a little bit above to give it more of like a standout or coming from the back, or you can also put it bottom, or even in the center. So for this time, I'm just going to go ahead and put it in the center right now. Now what we're going to do is once again create another new layer over that uh, text layer. Go in between, create another clipping mask. And I'm going to head back to my gradient tool. And this time just select like a lighter gray. And then once again just do that. And that pretty much just helps stand out against the back one. But at the same time uh, puts more emphasis on the 3D effect. Alright so once we have that done we're just going to go ahead and head over to our copy layer or our original text layer. We're going to double click on that to bring up our layer styles. Now the crucial part of the 3D effect right now um, that I find that helps full, if you go over to your outer glow option, we're going to set our blend mode to normal, our opacity to 100%, and for a color we're going to be selecting black because we're basically going to be creating a drop shadow effect. Now as you can see what we're going to do is head over to our size option, and as I increase this you'll notice that the 3D effect um, becomes more prominent and helps you just stand out. So you can play around with your size as much as you wish. Um, I like to keep it fairly high just to give it more of the 3D effect. And then go ahead and hit OK on that. Now the last step you want to go ahead and do if you wish to give it more of like that uh, glossy overlay on the front. Simply just go into our layer styles under our uh, foreground layer. And then what we're going to do is head over to our bevel and emboss. And under our gloss contour option down here you can see we have uh, various options under the down arrow. Now you can pretty much just go through these and select one that you find, um, you know, whatever catches your eye. So personally, I'm just gonna go ahead and go with the uh, the rolling slope descending. And you want to be sure to select the anti-alias button. That basically is just gonna smooth out any rough edges. And then from here, you can just mess around with your spread and size, uh, your depth, up and down directions, and uh, pretty much just go from there. And there you go, guys. That's how to create 3D, simple 3D text in about one minute. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and take it easy.